Hey guys, what's up? Kitty Loveization here. I don't have my ear alone, I'm sorry. But, I'm back in my spot. I'm back home now. Um, I got back today, actually, like a few hours ago. And I gotta show you, I added three new Pop Battle figures to my collection while I was away. And if you guys don't know, I absolutely love Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. That, that show was my show. I loved it. Right after medical shows, but... It was right there, the first kid show, kid, I don't know why I did that, kid show that I watched and it was very good. I have these Stitch sweatpants on, you can't really see them, but I have Scrump here, and that was Lilo's doll, Stitch and Angel. And I found those at Hot Topic, and when I first saw them, I didn't have enough money to get them, and then the next time I went, they were completely out. And it made me very sad. I went back, I think two weeks ago? And they were in there. And I impulsively, I'm like, I'm not going to let this slip away again. I'm buying them. So here they are in my little background. With all my stuff. Yeah. Things got moved around and got, as you can see, Baymax is kind of leaning. And then other Baymax is laying flat. I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see his head right here. Um, but yeah. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a bit about what has been going on in my life. And why I didn't make a video that Thursday. Like I said, I wanted to. I'm going to try so hard. But I got lots of stuff going on. Um, first, about my nephew. I told you guys he's having surgery, and he did. He got through it fine. He's We're working on him to take bottle. Hopefully, it'll happen soon. Um, my dad's doing better. He's out of the hospital. He's scheduled for surgery back in, again in March to get rid of anything he has to get rid of. Um, it was cost me big, but he's getting that taken off and all that, and he doesn't have to worry about that in March. Um, my grandma is having surgery on the, on Valentine's Day. I'm not going to say specifics on why, um, uh, because it's a very big family matter, and I don't want to bring you guys into it, but I'm just gonna say cancer is involved, unfortunately, and it is a scary situation, but we're all strong, we're all, we're all gonna be there when she has her surgery, and we're all gonna be right there for her, um, but I have been away for a while, and I'm sorry, um, you know, I got, you, you guys know I love making videos, because I feel this helps me, with getting rid of problems I've been having and even though I'm very impressed with how many views my videos have been getting so some of you have been watching it over and over again apparently or I'm getting new people watching and you know if you're new and if you like what you see hit that subscribe button you know I'm not gonna say just hit that subscribe button and no if it's if you want to if you want to hit the like button leave me a comment on what I can do more um, some exciting news though to get off medical and sadness and all that, um, is Supercon is coming up in a few months and I'm planning on going because I went last year and it was really fun. I did enjoy it so much and, um, it, it was very interesting because it was the first Comic-Con type thing for Sioux Falls and it is a very good, you know, thing for you don't know how many people are like you and the towns around you until you go till you have a convention like that go huge uh we had that one last we had uh super con last year and we had anime expo i of course went to both uh one day of each sadly um i would love to have gone more to both but i had to work and busyness and not a lot of money um Supercon was first. That was amazing. It was kind of fun seeing all the different vendors and all the different um, cosplay art creators that you had. Because you had one area for, like, all vendors such as them. Like, selling comic books and all this. And then you had another area for the art which is like people drawing, painting, uh, cosplaying costumes and all that in another room. And it was pretty cool to walk back and forth and see all the different things they had. And 
it was fun. And then Anime Expo, I went the last day they had it, which was kind of sad for me, but I did go and I did enjoy myself. Um, I met Jessica Negri, and she's a lovely person. I love her. Um, I bought my Umbreon ears, which are over there. Um, unfortunately they are broken, so I cannot wear them, which saddens me. But I did wear them that day when I bought them, and I met her, and the first words out of her mouth, and I quote, I must hug you, you are Umbreon. And so I, that, I got a hug. And then we started taking pictures, and it was self of selfies she grabbed my phone and she started taking selfies with me and stuff and it was it was very enjoyable for me and i gotta play video games and you know i i do enjoy going to the cons and stuff um because it's one of those things where it's like you don't know who's like you and you don't know who you can find there and it was a whole lot of fun uh at anime expo we got to talk to the voice of Zemnis and wormon from Digimon and Kingdom Hearts, and he was really cool to talk to, and, um, all the Power Rangers were there, and it was, it was a lot of fun, I must say, going to the cons, and I do enjoy them, um, however, I'm going to try and come, go this year, I'm hoping for it, more than one day for, con uh, the, the, the Super Con, because this year's back theme is Back to the Future, and I'm very interested to see how they take it. I mean, one day they're going to have the actual DeLorean there. So, I want to go see the DeLorean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm honestly getting better with a lot of different things that's going on with me. And, you know, I hope these videos are a good way for you guys to relieve some stress. It's not too complicated to think of, not too extravagant. I don't have editing skills. This is all one take full on because I don't have editing skills. I'm on my phone. I don't know how to do that. I'm working on getting a new uh, a camera for me to get better quality for you guys and to hopefully get more stuff out of it and be able to get like an intro, uh, an outro, um, you know, to attract more of you guys. And I've been thinking about where I want to take this channel in the future, and the main thing I want to do is I want to make this an outlet for me and you guys too. You know, I'm so far so glad I haven't had anybody in the comments, you know, typing bad things but i have had a few dislikes and that's okay not everyone's gonna like the content oh well but for me it's not about it's not about how why i'm doing it it's just me doing this to help me out to help you know i want to talk more about problems like not political not i don't do politics don't worry I'm not going to talk about anything of that because yeah, it annoys me too. Basically, my life right now is me trying to get through a bunch of hard things that happened. Um, such as, you know, you guys have heard me talk about a couple of times how I lost a good friend of mine uh, just out of the blue. No, he's not dead. Uh, he's still alive, um, but he just kind of disappeared from my life, and I had trust issues after that, honestly. Um, this happened two years ago, so I've been kind of, I held the grudge for two years, and, you know, a few days ago, I kind of realized how childish I was being about it, and how, I guess I wasn't fully over him. And that's why I posted on my Instagram and my Twitter about it. And I said, hey, I know. And I honestly do regret everything I had with him. Because had I known where it was going to lead me, I wouldn't have done it. But I don't know where I, would I, where I would have been had it not happened. Because there was a lot of people I've met. And a lot of people 
that have just kind of disappeared from my life. And, I mean, it's always good to have some good friends. And, honestly, some of my best friends came from it. I know it, and I'm basically right now happy with who I am. I'm anxiety ridden. I have ADD. My back isn't straight. I have two titanium rods in it. I bruise easily. I'm scared of change. I had trust issues. I'm still working on them. No, they're almost done. I feel self confident. I feel, you know, not good about, you know, that and my stomach. And I feel uncomfortable in my body. But that's not going to stop me from being who I am. I'm 19, going to be 20. I'm an adult soon. I am an adult, actually.